All right, good evening and welcome to Master Talker Online Class. This is continuation of bearing. So let's solve this simple bearing question. He said that two, um, if you have not watched our first and second video on bearing, please do that because the knowledge will help you to understand this. So two, uh, two ships, P and Q, left a port R at the same time. Both of them left the same port. Okay, note that though. Q sell on a bearing of 150. 150 is in the second quadrant. So I will draw it this side so that 150 will go on the second quadrant. This is my Q. Okay, and the 150 starting from the north, you touch this man, is my 150. So I need a small angle with the vertical according to what I taught you in the first and second video. So it should be 180 minus this, which is 30. Because from here to you touch here is 180. So if here is 30, automatically this side is 30. Okay? Okay, that's that. Then I said that what? P cell on the north side of Q. Okay, which means it's, it, P was going this way. But we don't know where P will stop. Because this, side, this is the north side of Q. So they are going the way, they will, they will meet somewhere there. So they said, after a distance of 8 km and 10 km by P and Q. So the distance P moved is shorter than the distance Q moved. So here is 10, 10 km. So which means my Q, my Q should be maybe somewhere here. In fact, we are taking this, the north side of Q. This is north side of Q. Okay, uh, I didn't know. I don't know if I really got it, but uh, this is supposed to be shorter. Please, this is eight kilometer. So, and they say that the distance between P and Q is twelve, and that twelve is longer. Okay, so that is that. Now let's continue. Then I say find the bearing of P now from R. This is our R where they started from. So the bearing of P from R is what. From the north, you touch the line that came from that P, so which is this small place. So we need here, if we can get here, theta. When I say theta minus this 150, because 150 is from here, you stop here. So if you can get from here to here, which means 150 minus this theta will give you this small one. Because this small one plus the theta is the complete 150 that we have here. Do you understand it now? So to get this, they gave us three sides. And in a triangle, if three sides are given, you are going to use what is called cosine rule. Okay, I taught you that. And cosine rule said cos cos big R is equal to what? You start from the other side. Small p squared plus what? Q squared minus that R squared all over to the same p, the same q. Okay, which is what? Cos theta, cos this theta. Any side facing it is what will have the minus. So you start from here. 8 squared plus what? 10 squared minus what? 12 squared all over what? 2 times the same 8 times the same 10. So what do you have? That cos theta is equal to, so let's do that. Uh, okay, this is 64. 64 plus 100 minus 144 all over 2 times 8, 16 times 10, 160. So I'm having that cos theta is equal to, so let's do that, 64 plus 100 minus 44 is giving us 120, then divided by 160, I'm having 0 0.75. So therefore theta is now sine, in, uh, sorry, cos inverse, cos inverse of 0 0.75. So theta is equal to, uh, where is cos inverse? Okay. So, sine inverse, okay, 0 0.75 is 0 0.75 sine inverse. So, I'm having 43, 48.59. So, let me make it whole number, which is what? 49 degrees. So since I've gotten this to be 49 degrees, okay, so which means our, um, if our theta is 49 degrees, that means that, um, that the bearing, 
the bearing the bearing of a p from r is equal to what 150 minus 49 so i'm having what One fifty minus so one zero one one zero one degrees. So which means this diagram is even is not really correct. So that one one ten now is not showing us that that p that p came here. That p is equally in second in second quadrant, not in first quadrant. Okay. So p goes this way and joins somewhere here. Okay. So that is that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we really appreciate it.